I guess the view from the path was just okay, so they decided to hop the fence. Hey guys, it's Zekin, and welcome to our first look at Prehistoric Kingdom. Big shout out to the devs for sending me over a key to test out the game and it's closed pre-alpha stage so yes this game is not available right now but you can wishlist it on steam and hopefully you'll be able to get your hands on it later on this year. So yeah as you can see I put together a little mini park to show off all the different creatures that come with the alpha. So I'm going to be showing you guys a bit of how I built this and I'm also going to be taking a look at some of the cool features that come with the game. Oh what's this? A speed build video? I know, it's been a while since I've done one of these on the channel, and obviously, in the game we don't have the undo and redo buttons yet, so it's basically impossible to do any kind of sort of stop motion. And not gonna lie, it's kind of sort of refreshing going back to do a kind of sort of regular old speed build video. So unfortunately, I forgot to record me building the actual Microraptor dome, and that's probably because I was just kind of just fiddling around with the pieces when I first got the game and just, just decided like, why don't I build a dome? And many of you know that I'm like the person who really loves domes in pla from Planet Zoo. So I decided, hmm, will it be possible to build a geodesic kind of dome in the game? Yeah, it's possible, it's very much possible to build a dome in this game, especially with the uh, scalable option. So all the modular pieces in the game are scalable on all axes, so you can squeeze them, stretch them, expand them. It's just a really awesome feature that really opens the door to many different creative outlets and makes the building process way much quicker. So as you can see, I was placing down the rocks for kind of like the massive habitat, which I'm just going to put out all the different uh, dinosaurs in there. And right now in the game, they don't attack each other. So don't worry. I just want to mainly showcase all the dinosaurs in the game. So if you notice, I've started using the paintable foliage tool. And what this allows you to do is that you can actually paint the foliage on the ground like you see in the game like City Skylines. So this is a really mind-blowing tool to have because it just makes the whole process of placing down your foliage and making it look really random and naturalistic way much easier and faster. This tool allows you to use foliage for many of the different four paintable biomes we have in the game, which really opens the door for more customizable options. So now we're coming to the end of the speed build. Next up, I'm going to be giving you guys a tour of the mini park as well as showing off more of the different features and of course all the creatures in the game. Okay, so welcome to the mini park. Uh, before I get on with the tour, uh, there's just one small problem. We don't have any creatures in the park just yet, so why don't we get some? So I will, let's just head on into here. So I've placed down a nursery and because of that, I've unlocked this panel and then with this, you can actually breed different creatures. So we have the Tyrannosaurus over here. And as you can see, I just love the modeling they did on it. It just looks so as scary as it's meant to be looking. So we have all the different alts, alternative skins over here. So here we have the Molten. And then we have the Leather Hide. Then there's the Brumal. And then the Scorched, which has like this kind of turkey thing on the bottom of its head. I think it's pretty cool. I just love that. So, um... My favorite skin so far is this one over here. So why don't we breed that one and then head back and then get the Edmontosaurus. And then we have all the different skins over here. We have the Gavilad, then there's a Vibrant, and then the Arctic. I kind of like this one the best. So I'm going to go for this one. And then let's head into the Lambiosaurus. As you can see over here, it just looks pretty cool. So um, we have the chestnut, the equine, I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, and then the cosmic. And I really love the cosmic one, but um, I think I like the uh, this one the best. So I'm going to go for this one. So now, next up, we have the styracosaurus. I really love the horns on the Cyrexaurus and it looks really cool. So we have the Shoreline, then we have the Jaggered, and the Psychedelic. Oh, wow. I, I, I like that design on top there. So, yeah. So why don't we use choose the... Um, I'm going to go for the Shoreline and breathe that one. And then the Nurse of the Ceratops, we're going to get 
We get the mint, the wild berry, oh, and then the ambar. Oh, I, I really like this one. I really like the skin, especially this that it has on his head over here. Really like that part. So, why don't we get that and we'll breathe that as well? So, okay, so let's start with the placing down of the animal. So, I'm gonna have to put the nosoceratops in this middle, uh, central point over here because it's kind of like at the height level of the guest so it's kind of like a petting zoo-ish kind of animal although i know if it rams into one guest i'm sure it's gonna like hurt someone but that will stay there for now and then let's put the others in the bigger habitat over here so we have our big boy over here and then we have edmontosaurus put that down and then we have the Lambiosaurus here. And last but not least, we have the Styraxaurus over here. I didn't realize how big this actual, uh, the whole thing is until you actually uh, place down the animal. So it's pretty big. And the map as well is really, really, really large, as you can see. So more uh, freedom of like, gives you option of if you want to build something huge you can do that and oh what are all these people doing here ah <laughs> I, I i guess the view from the path was just okay so they decided to hop the fence so <laughs> that that's pretty weird but yeah like i said this is alpha so you'd expect things like this to happen and clipping in and actually entering the habitat and that okay so from the entrance over here we have some of the facility buildings. So we have the toilet, the restrooms, and then we have the information centers. Like I put two, I don't know why I just put two just to make it look pretty cool. And then we have the cafe and that's pretty much all the uh, facility buildings I place down, even though like there's, I think there's one more, which is like the clothing store. But as you can see, the planting options, because we have the scalable things, you can literally create like new plants. So this is the combination of two different plants, which the top one is scaled up to make it look like it's blooming out of the bottom one, which I really love. So uh, let's head on down. And I also really love the, the way the pathing system works in which you can overlap it and have the guests just wander in and out and over it and it doesn't really create any problems so uh yeah this is the microraptor dome and as you can see it's really cool but um i think maybe if i had more time and i put more like effort into the glass it would we would have like a, a less of overlappings but i'm pretty happy with how it turned out so far uh, this is kind of better than any other dome I've made just because I was able to scale down and squeeze some of the pieces to kind of fit into the little spaces and it just came out pretty well. And I really also love the fonting that we, we got with the game. And uh, yeah, let's just let's he oh. <laughs> let's head on into the dome. So as you can see, we have all our Microraptors in the dome here. So this is kind of like a um, tropical indoor rainforest kind of dome, like kind of like the Eden project kind of thing. But we have like our Microraptors in here. So as you can see them, they're right over here, just coming, flying around. And I really love what the devs did in which they allowed us to kind of customize the uh, aviaries for the Microraptors. And this is the kind of things you'd expect to make as well as some, I'm sure, naturalistic kind of aviaries. And I just, just really love how it came out. So um, we have the feeder over here. And then over there, oh, mind the camera, over here we have like the bed area and they're snoozing off. So yeah, let's head on out. So around the dome, we have the, uh, forgot what animal I put in here. I think it's a Nocidoceratops. So we have the Nocidoceratops habitat surrounding the, uh, the dome over here. So, uh, yeah, just really, really love, especially with the, um, the ability to, uh, kind of sort of mix and match foliage, which is something I really love. And 
yeah, look at look at the big boy over here. Well, not big boy compared to the other guys in the other habitat, but it's just really, <laughs> really cool. So let's head on and check out the big habitat, the one that everyone's excited about. So uh, yeah, oh, look at look at him over there. So yeah, this is just a really vast habitat which I just put in together to put all the ha all the animals and creatures in. And so over here we have ourselves our T-Rex, our Tyrannosaurus, Look at the big boy. <laughs> so so look at look at that. So I especially kind of love the the fur and feathers they put on the skin. This is really really cool. Oh. You're, you want to take a nap? Okay, we'll head on to another creature. So here is the Styracosaurus. And really, like I said, really love what they did with the skin and everything. This looks pretty cool. Hiding over here. We have ourselves our Lambiosaurus. And it seems like he's he's have going through a pretty rough time right now. <laughs> but let me let me move over here. We can we can actually have the ability to move the animals and rotate them so that's a pretty neat feature so over here you can see we have ourselves our lambiosaurus and like i said i really just love that skin and oh you're also taking a nap okay over here we have our edmontosaurus so we have just love like i said love the uh the skins on all the different dinosaurs they put in here and it just looks pretty cool yeah did we miss any oh i think <laughs> I, I just mistakenly kind of <laughs> eliminated that one but anyways so so far this game looks very very promising all the different tools we get with the scaling and the painting and all the uh, just really really awesome so be sure to subscribe and stick around if you want to see more in which i'm going to be posting more like habitat builds and stuff like that in the coming weeks or days so yeah so hope you guys enjoy the video be sure to leave a like on the video and i'll be leaving links to my social so you can go check it out below and yeah see you later guys and until then bye for now